Hey there, friend. I'm Zakora, and I'm going to be your educator today. Welcome to the Missouri Historical Society's May Homeschool Day. Our theme this month is Medical Missouri. There is no way we could cover this topic without telling you the story of Homer G. Phillips Hospital, affectionately known as the G back in the day. Let's go back to the year it all started. In 1919, due to segregation, there was only one public hospital that black St. Louisans could go to for care and training, City Hospital Number 2. This hospital was inadequate. The building was dirty and breaking down, and many people say the medical service itself was poor. Not to mention, the hospital had a total of 177 beds, while the African American population of St. Louis was around 98,000 at that time. That is an enormous difference. We know that during segregation, things were separate and not always equal. So black people were not receiving the same level of medical care or training as white people. And some of this inequality still exists today. In a moment, I want you to pause the video and think about why it is important that all people receive proper medical care. Can you think of places where this inequality still exists in the medical field today? You may pause the video now, but don't forget to come back for the rest of the story. Some people were able to cross the medical boundaries that segregation created, such as Isetta Reddick, a black chiropodist or foot surgeon who saw her clients at the whites-only Chase Park Plaza, despite having a diverse clientele. However, many were not. As the black population grew in St. Louis, so did the need for a better, cleaner, and larger hospital. Many people turned to a prominent lawyer and activist named Homer Garland Phillips to fight for their rights to a decent hospital with sufficient medical care and training. Homer G. Phillips, who the hospital would later be named after, fought hard and successfully got funding for a new and improved hospital. Unfortunately, he would not live to see it. In 1931, he was killed and the two men who fled the scene were released due to lack of evidence. After its opening in 1937, Homer G. Phillips Hospital quickly became the premier medical institution for black people in St. Louis. It ranked in the top third of the national rankings and was known for its innovation and excellence in the medical field. Their trauma unit was legendary. Patients were incredibly grateful to receive care at Homer G. Phillips Hospital, and when someone got hurt, they would often say, take me to the G. They were one of the top places for black people to receive medical training, being one of few places to admit black doctors for residencies where they could get hands-on experience. They even had an on-site nursing school. People came from all over the world to train and work at Homer G. Phillips. Both those who worked there and who were treated there spoke fondly of the hospital. The entire Ville neighborhood was extremely proud to be the home of such a prestigious institution. Which explains why when city officials decided to close Homer G. Phillips Hospital instead of City Hospital Number 1, many people were extremely angry. There were 20 days, or about three weeks, of unrest when local government decided to shut down the hospital. Neighbors protested as the National Guard, police, and helicopters surrounded the perimeter, allowing people to forcibly shut down the hospital. The city's reasoning was that the other hospital was in a more central location, despite Homer G. Phillips being the newer hospital. Mayor James Conway also called it a monument to racism, built according to the attitudes prevalent at that time essentially claiming that Homer G. Phillips represented an outdated and divisive way of thinking that they were trying to get away from. The closing of Homer G. Phillips impacted the St. Louis black community in many ways. Many jobs were lost, many people had to move to find new ones, and the once vibrant neighborhood began to deteriorate. The impacts of Homer G. Phillips closing can still be seen today in the Ville neighborhood. I mentioned before, one of the things that was most special about Homer G. Phillips is that the hospital allowed black medical professionals to receive training. In a moment, I want you to pause the video and think about this question. Why is it important for black people to be treated by black doctors? 
How did closing Homer G. Phillips affect medical care for black patients in St. Louis? Talk it over with someone close by and then come back to the video. You may pause the video now. Disparities in the medical field still exist today. We see it when ambulances take longer to get to black neighborhoods or when doctors do not listen to black patients. Many people are still fighting these medical inequalities in Missouri in their own ways. Take JAMA Birth Village, for example. Studies show that black women have higher mortality rates during childbirth and pregnancy than any other group. That means that black women are more likely to get really sick, injured, or even die when carrying and delivering children. A lot of this stems from non-black doctors not believing black women about their pain or symptoms. Here in St. Louis, JAMA Birth Village is working to combat that by training black doulas who really listen and can advocate for black mothers in the hospital and take care of them throughout their entire pregnancy and even a little while after the baby is born. Organizations like JAMA are just as important today as Homer G. Phillips Hospital was back in the day. As we prepare to wrap up, I want you to take one question with you. How can we keep working to ensure that everyone receives proper medical care to remain safe and healthy? Learning about these difficult parts of our history can be tough sometimes, but it is necessary. History helps us know where we come from, where we are, and where we can go. Take what you learned today and share the knowledge of Homer G. Phillips Hospital with someone around you. It can inspire change like JAMA and keep the memory of Homer G. Phillips alive. Thank you for learning with me today. Check out our other gallery stops and virtual learning activities at our website. You can find the link down below. Also, check out our new History Exploration Days coming to you next school year. To learn more, click the link in the description. Remember to tag us with any questions, comments, or things you've created, and use hashtag MHSLearn, and most importantly, Remember to keep making history.